Hello everyone, my name is Ajo Ime Ajo and my group team member is Gloria Rimba. Today we will present our project entitled Unhealthy Accounting at Health South. I will introduce our project in few words so that you will have an idea and answer the first two questions. Next. Gloria will explain you and answer the last three questions. Thank you for your time. And it will be great to take note and do not hesitate to ask any question if you have it. At the end of this presentation, you will be able to know uh, the discussion question, of course, and explain a little bit. So the first question is, what are several red flags that Ernst and Young either was or sh should have been aware of in the audit of health south? The second question, what procedures um, can auditor perform to detect fraudulent entries made um during the consolidation process the next question how can auditor determine a company's true tone at the top what is the appropriate response by auditor to information from this grant employee in the last question how start consolidate the fraudulent by keeping the Have sought consolidate the fraud by keeping the fraudulent transaction below five thousand. What recommendation would you have been given to Ernst and Young to improve its simpler practice? So, um, Health Sought is an impatient rehabilitation company that own and operate over 125 hospitals across the U.S. in the in, in Puerto Rico. HealthSouth is the nation's largest surgery provider of rehabilitation of patient surgery in diagnostic service and began its raise in 1984. When Richard Scrunchy, Aaron, Beam, and other close associates formed the Health South Empire with venture capital from Enterprise Associate of Baltimore. In the beginning, Richard Scrunchy was the Chief Executive Officer, CFO. Aaron Beam was named the chief, fin uh, the chief financial officer, CFO, and William Owen, an accountant from Ernst and Young, assumed the position of controller. Um, red flag that Ernst and Young should have been awarded of audit, health salt, and net income rose nearly 500% percent while revenue grew only five percent other different ratio could have been calculated in accordingly a uh, thing will have been determined and got hold of diligently checking contractual um, allowances significant increase in company valuation and earning Uh, the next question, um, the procedures auditor uh, can perform to detect fraudulent entry made during the consolidation process. So I will say here that um, as health sub accounting system was not in compliance with enterprise resource planning diligence will have been taken to check all the accounting system and other system getting data from it are probably seen. 
proper check and balances will have been kept in place. Consolidation of result by hand shall have been checked and discouraged at this lead to easy way to this lead to easy way the of manipulating the figures. Thank you so much. Auditors can determine the company's true tone at the top. By the organization structure that held South had, the CEO clearly was in a dominant position at the top of his company. In their primarily audit work papers, they noted a few things about Health South. For example, management is dominated by one or a few individuals without effective oversight by the board of directors or audit committee. Management has no authority to take decisions. They were not having access to corporate accounts of Health South, and management was obsessed in maintaining and increasing the stock price or earnings trend. These qualities of management created an environment that at the top is obsessed with earnings and has the power over that employees to allow a fraud. The CEO had complete control over his company. He installed security cameras throughout the headquarters to keep watch on his employees. He allowed rank and file employees into his executive suite only when he wanted to berate them. The appropriate response of auditors for a disgruntled employee, for example, Mr. Vines, would have been to have checked and investigated the email from him. Instead of that, they relied on explanation given by the management and termed him as disgruntled and pest. The accounts which Mr. Vines pointed out should have been checked and verified and investigated by external auditors. They failed to do so in this case. E and Y have the practice of filtering the transactions above $5,000 and materially those entries got unnoticed. So to conceal the entries company used to average journal entry with $2,500 to avoid auditor detection and millions of entries with fake documentation used to be created in this manner. Auditors should have also kept check on volume of journal entries instead of checking only on amount of journal entries. Patterns would have been formed if such large numbers of transactions are recorded also should have been identified if entries are happening in such large scales. In conclusion, at least the Health South fraud was a textbook example of unbridled greed combined with a lack of corporate governance. The company had many red flags that should have been investigated by the auditors, but the fraud was clearly concealed. To prevent similar situations in the future, auditors should be kept diligent in their sampling practices and should take allegations of wrongdoing seriously.